Thank you, everyone. My name is Joe, and I'm an alcoholic. And it's truly by God's grace and the Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous and the program of Alcoholics Anonymous that I found in a book called Alcoholics Anonymous. I'm sober today, and for that, I'm very, very thankful. Hi, everybody. My name is Charlie Parmlet. I'm a very grateful recovering alcoholic. Hi, Charlie. Because I'm a member of the Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous, and by the grace of the power that I found in the 12-step program of Alcoholics Anonymous, I haven't found it necessary to take a drink for 10,516 days today, one day at a time, and for this I'm grateful. Great to be here. <clears throat> Joe leaned over a while ago and he said, Charlie, this is one of the finest looking bunches of sick people we've seen in a long time. Isn't it great? <laughs> we always uh, like to say as we start one of these things that we do not consider ourselves to be the gurus of the big book Alcoholics Anonymous. We don't consider ourselves to be the experts on anything at all. We're just two old drunks met together several years ago found we had a mutual interest in the big book. We studied it together for quite some time. Hopefully, we've learned a few things about it. And those few things we've learned about it, we just love to be able to share them with other people. We do not attempt to speak for AA as a whole, and you are most certainly free to agree or disagree with anything that we say throughout the entire weekend as you see fit. In fact, if you hear us saying things that can't be reconciled with what's in the big book Alcoholics Anonymous, we suggest you just don't pay any attention to those things. And we'll do our best to keep most of our conversation centered on the book itself. If we're going to uh, study the big book Alcoholics Anonymous, which of course that's what we're here for this weekend, I think it would do, be well if we would go back and look at just a little bit of the history behind the book, be able to see what happened to some of the first people that put this thing together and by looking at that history then it's going to make it a lot easier to understand the book itself as we go through that and what we like to do to look at some of the history is go to the forward to the second edition Roman numeral 15 and we'll start with the last paragraph on that page so everybody that's got your books if you're ready <clears throat> Roman numeral 15 and the last paragraph on that page Joe one of the things that's helped me over the years in studying at Bill's writings, and he does this in, in most all of his writings. So if you kind of follow along with what he does, and you help help you understand some of his writings. For instance, he'll always tell us what the problem is. Then he'll just d tell us the solution to that problem. And then he'll give us a practical program of action to Im implement the solution that he just described. He does that in most all cases in his writings. So that kind of helped me in, in understanding how Bill writes. So the bottom of the page on Roman numeral page 15, he said the spark that was to flare in the first <clears throat> AA group was struck in Akron, Ohio in June 1935 during a talk between a New York stockbroker and an Akron physician. Now we know that New York stockbroker to be this fellow named Bill Wilson. I think we're treating Bill pretty good when we call him a New York stockbroker. <laughs> he really was and he was a New York City stock speculator. He made his living out of selling fast, talking to slow-thinking people. I don't want to take anything away from Bill because he's a great man. But I think we all need to realize that he's a real alcoholic, just like all the rest of us. And understanding that, it'll make it easier to understand the book. Because after all, Bill is the primary author of the book. The, New York, the, the Akron physician is this fellow named Dr. Bob Smith. Now, six months earlier, the broker had been relieved of his drink obsession by a sudden spiritual experience.